metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. On a previous occasion, Pin got for real sicky poo because he skipped his mandatory flu vaccination which sent Olga on a coffee-fueled rant from which no one was safe. Meanwhile, Daco gave Crash and Chico just enough information about the fight going on inside Pin against the invading viruses to give Crash a massively reckless idea. He and Chico would <clears throat> borrow the smallerizer pod, shrink themselves down, find a way inside Pin's body, and help fight in the battle against Pin's illness. Greetings and salutations. We come in peace and stuff. We didn't come in peace. We're here to fight a war. They could be the enemy. I don't like the way they use their faces. Mm. Yuck. There's someone else over there. Look. <laughs> That's an enemy, all right. Probably. Hey, onboard computer. Can you please show us the location of the smallerizer module? Nope. Nope. No, uh, wait. Yep, there you are. Are you pulling my horns? They have ventured outside the module? Teenagers. <laughs> Chico, it doesn't really look like anybody's fighting here. Um, maybe Pin is already better? Holy carrots on a cracker. We're... Just friendly visitors! Pig, pig! What the hyper hop is that? That's a virus! Daco? Just stay as far away as possible from it, lads! We have connected to the body cam on your pressure suit so we can see where you are, which at this moment is in grave danger! We're fine, chill out! Just tell me, if that guy is a virus, does that mean that those are the good guys? <laughs> hey there! Ooh. Huh? 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 Daco? What are these freaky things those good guys just threw to me and Chico? They look like ice cube slingshots. Those things that you're calling good guys for some reason have got a perfectly fine name. They're called lymphocytes. And those things are the weapons lymphocytes use to fight off viruses. Weapons, huh? All right. Uh, yeah. Just point me to the nearest bad guy. Where are they? Put those things down unless you want to be eaten. I'm dead serious. What do you mean, eat? Just look at the virus. That, I mean that. When infectious microbes or antigens enter the body, they are recognized by white blood cells called lymphocytes. The lymphocytes release markers called antibodies that bind to the antigens, marking them for destruction. How come that jerk face virus got the same thing I did? This is even bigger! Because when antibodies adhere to bacteria and viruses, phagocytes, another type of white blood cell, have receptors that can detect the antigens. Then the phagocytes devour the antigens, helping the body to fight the infection and get well. But we're the good guys! Hey, Spike Blob! Fetch! Chico, this is our chance! I can't believe this! How could they mistake us, awesome heroes, for evil viruses? How could they not know that we're heroes the second they saw us? Hello, our suits are completely white. Pin's immune system is kind of an oaf. 
Oh, it's not a matter of good and bad. It's just because you come from outside of him. Good or bad, you're an invader. It's not personal. Look out! <laughs> We lost the connection. None of this would be happening. If you'd got, you're shot. Guess not. <laughs> Just back off! You want some of this? Do you remember where we parked the smallerizer? Cuz, I think we're lost. We've got to get them out of there somehow. Hey, onboard computer. Her name's Midge. I'd like to go home now. Things move like clockwork. I'd really like to go home now. Chico, don't even breathe. I... I don't want... I don't want my immune system to battle Crash and Chico. Uh, please try not to trouble yourself about that. The more that you worry, then the faster your blood will circulate through your body. Which then means the faster your leukocytes will pursue our poor miniature friends. Adrenaline! Oh. And now I'm worried about being worried. How nice. The objects have been found. The objects have been found. Oh, well, there they are. They're alive, but they're still outside the module. Uh, Ms. The Computer, direct the module to the objects and evacuate immediately. You got it, Toots. I want to go home. Stay I wanna back. Go home. I want to 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 go home. Oh, please. Ah! You don't want to mess with this rabbit. <laughs> Objects are back aboard the pod. Starting evacuation. Great! Now, just, uh, travel along the circulatory system. It should have the lowest number of leukocytes. As you wish. What has the highest number? The highest numbers are found in the lymph nodes, the bone marrow, and the spleen. Yo, viruses, the spleen was just talking smack about your moms. There's one other thing I don't get. If these, um, loogie sight doohickeys are so awesome at fighting off viruses, what do we need vaccinations and medicine for? Well, there's a problem. Viruses are changing and mutating all the time. As lymphocytes need time to find antibodies that will effectively adhere to the new mutations of the viruses, while lymphocytes experiment and adjust, viruses have time to multiply and keep making us ill. Doctors will often prescribe medicines that can assist our lymphocytes, we may also drink hot beverages in order to help increase circulation and move the lymphocytes more quickly throughout our bodies. But if a vaccine is available, that's the best solution. Vaccines are made of dead or weakened antigens. They can't cause infection, but the immune system still produces antibodies to fight them. 
Then if an active antigen of that kind enters the body, the immune system remembers it and can fight it immediately and effectively. The small Arthur Heron oh. battery will be completely depleted in two minutes. Yay, more mortal danger. Move your tushies right now! Sure thing, boss. Ah, red alert! Keep moving! One minute until revigorization. Faster! Faster! Through the alveoli to the bronchi! Then just follow the trachea! Up Chuck Highway, check. Oh! What if we don't get out? That is not an option! Or pin! Pin code would be pin explode! Time left until revigorization. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. the first one that, and the second one that. What? That's how it went down. <laughs> anyway, my heroic deeds aside, all that matters is that Pin got better. <laughs> right, Chico? <laughs> In 1908, Russian scientist Isla Meknikov and German scientist Paul Ehrlich were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their work on immunity. Isla Meknikov is famous as the father of natural immunity. And for the recipe of Meknikov's sour milk, a probiotic. More than 100 years later, we continue to study the ongoing battle between our immune systems and the antigens that invade them. And new discoveries continue to be made. In fact, in 2011, American scientist Bruce A. Beutler, Canadian scientist Ralph M. Steinman, and French scientist Jules A. Hoffman received the Nobel Prize for discoveries in innate immunology and adaptive immunity.